have tried out yet another new space because I've already filmed this once and the lighting was shocking because the sun kept coming in, out, in, out, in, out, everything's really washed out. So I'm trying again. Hi guys, it's Agatha Grace. Um, I thought that I would talk to you about my past two weeks um, and um, my experience with Booty. Now, Booty, this, is um, a 14, or you can do 28, day tea tox. So it came in a little box that was probably about this big, about the size of my head. Um, and it came with both two packets. You've got the 14 tea bags of the daytime detox, and then you get seven of the bedtime cleanse. Um, so obviously you have this one every morning and this one every other night. This one tastes like uh, lemongrass, like the kind of tea you get um, at a Chinese restaurant. And this one tastes very peppermint-y. I thought they both were really really tasty, it was nice to wake up to this, it was refreshing and this one was very like soothing, it helps me, helped me sleep. I decided to do the detox because um, I really wanted to kickstart the summer, I uh, wasn't feeling very well over the last two, three weeks of uni as you would have seen from my weekly vlogs from that time. Um, I wasn't well and I just wanted to kind of really kickstart the summer uh, cleanse my body completely um, yeah just make myself feel a lot better help lose a little bit of weight to kind of give me that extra motivation because this is quite um, it's a quick fix kind of if you do it right um, and it kind of it just gave me that boost so now I've like I've got an exercise class later I'm really trying to get into it um, with what you eat I I think it suggests that you have vegan food, um, whereas I was like, nah, I'm just going to eat healthily. So I cut out loads of snacking, um, I made sure I ate loads of vegetables, I ate a lot of quinoa and vegetables for like dinner. Um, I made sure I had a big breakfast, medium sized lunch, small dinner. For the first week I exercised, I went to the gym four times, did four classes, I did a, a body combat, body vibe, zumba, and I did another one as well but I can't remember what that was and then I also did some just short workouts in the garden or in my room the second week however was I was a bit naughty I was snacking I wasn't eating like I wasn't eating unhealthily but I was snacking a bit um, and I wasn't doing as much exercise I went on a bike ride um, but I had company so I didn't really want to just like leave them here while I went off to the gym because I felt like I was a bit grim on them. So um, I didn't really get as much exercise in as I had planned originally, but I still feel like, I, well, I feel like I would have made it so much more of a difference if I had followed a strict two week plan rather than a one week and then a one week kind of just a bit off. Um, but did it work is the main question. And I would say yes, it definitely did. I feel like it would have worked better if I had stuck to that strict plan. Um, after the first week, I already started noticing differences. There wasn't that much difference between the first week and the second week, but I feel, like I said, if I had kept up with my exercise um, and super healthy eating, no snacking, I would have been able to have maintained a constant, like, loss. Um, I noticed that I had a bit more, like, ab definition because a lot of the workouts I was doing were focusing on my abs, and that was the main area that I struggled with water weight. Uh, so the booty, like, helps you lose that water weight. Um, and I thought it was I like that really helped because I could then start like really seeing the progress that I had made not just in those last in that last week of well the first week of doing the booty but over the past like month or two of the exercises that I've been doing having that extra weight loss around the front of my belly helped me see the progress that I had made over the last about month so again that gave me that boost of confidence. Um, I'm more willing to exercise. I noticed the daytime tea gave me energy, it helped me curb cravings. I wasn't like, um, I wasn't trying to just reach for all the snacks. The second week, obviously, I was snacking a bit more, but that would be like I'd be watching a film and then, you know, I'd have a few Skittles or like things like that. Um, so it wasn't as healthy. But yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely would recommend it if you want just that extra like if you want that kickstart that boost it really like it doesn't really affect your eating like obviously eat healthily don't like snack 
um, and don't eat like loads of like junk food, don't be having like fast food for dinner. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend it. You just, it's literally just one drink one day, then two drinks the next, and then just repeat that. Like it's not difficult. They're tasty. It's not like you're trying to like drink something disgusting. Um, most people that I've heard have actually liked the tea, which really helps. The other two things I would suggest um, to help with and maintain the booty, um, like the, the detox, the cleanse, whatever. The first thing is this. This is um, Pucka tea. It's the cleanse one. It tastes a lot like the nighttime tea that you drink, but it doesn't have the senna, which is the one that has the slight laxative effect. Um, which I don't feel is like that bad. I think I think it varies from person to person, but that's like the colon cleansing kind of. The toxins have to come out somehow. Um, but yeah, this it like helps. I find that this helps me keep um, a nice glow to my skin. Um, what else does it say? Yeah, it just helps. Just helps like maintain that like cleanse. I don't know cleanliness of your body. I don't know. I also feel like it helps me sweat. Um, which I think is really good because then it like helps remove like the toxins from the top of the body. Um, and the other thing that I would suggest would be to drink lemon water. Now I had, mum's just bought me this really adorable water bottle that says water and now it's been crossed out and says vodka underneath. I'm a student, what do you expect? Um, <laughs> I don't actually drink that much. Um, that's another thing, I don't drink while you're on beauty because again it's like, it's like alcohol is like toxins that you're putting into your body and you're trying to get rid of them so there's no point in in drinking while you're on it. Um, but yeah, so lemon water, I would cut two, maybe three slices of lemon and put this in and like keep refilling it in the, during the day, but keep that bit of lemon in there um, and then change the lemon over every day. And I think it's great to have like a little water bottle that you can carry around with you wherever you go because then like throughout the day you'll be sipping on it rather than having to then go up and get yourself a glass of water. Like, you know, you just, if it's there, you'll subconsciously be drinking it. Um, and again, I felt like the lemon water helped me um, get energy. It helped me, uh, like, it helped me sweat, basically. I'm the sort of a person that um, I don't really sweat very much, um, particularly when I do exercise. I'm not one of those people that can do, like, 10 minutes and then they're coming out dripping in sweat. Um, but this helped me sweat. And um, that removed, obviously, removed loads of, like, uh, toxins and stuff from your skin. Um, and it just helped aid, like weight loss and whatever um so i would really suggest that you drink lemon water plus it's just tastier than normal water like normal water is quite boring <laughs> so putting lemon i think other people use other fruits like just uh, infuse your water people use cucumber you can use strawberries you can pretty much put whatever you want in here but i feel like lemon is the best the citrus um why i don't know i can't tell you the science behind it i'm not a nutritionist i'm just someone who's just gone through this that's all i can say um if you guys have any questions about the tea talks, um, about how I felt, uh, how I like found it, anything that I haven't answered in this video, um, leave a comment below. I will try and answer it to the best of my abilities. Like I said, I can't tell you all the science behind it, um, but yeah, I will try and answer to the best of my abilities. Uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next week probably for another video. Bye.